Y'all, YouTube just stopped my live stream. They said that the reason they stopped the live stream was because I, it was reported that I had violated something. Something was violated, copyright violation. I don't even know. I don't even know. I didn't, I don't have no music or nothing playing. I, it wasn't no way possible I could have violated a uh, copyright. Yeah, yeah, YouTube just stopped this live stream and I, I screenshot the thing, but it was like, um, I just violated copyright or something. Oh, here it is right here. Yeah, so they was like, I just violated. YouTube just sent me a, uh, some message that I never got before. What's up, Scoob and Denise? They talking about I have, the live stream was stopped because I violated copyright or I was reported for something. I didn't do nothing. This ain't, I ain't doing nothing illegal. They should have saw me last week. If they think what I'm doing, no, I'm just playing. I don't be doing illegal things, y'all. Because... One of my biggest fears is jail. I'm trying to find something to prop this up. I should have just brought my tripod in here so I can go through these papers and try to find this um this order form for this person. But um I don't I don't the only law I break is speeding. And I be trying not to do that so much. All right, let me see. See if I can try to go through these papers and find that. But yeah, you two talking about, I guess somebody was on here and they reported me for something. I don't know. I didn't do anything though, but that's crazy. I did screenshot it. So I will do a video on it. Um, let me see. I'm trying to see. I gotta go through these papers right here. If it's not in here, it's in the box already. And I don't wanna have to go through the box. Oh, goodness gracious. Do not want to have to go through that. I really don't want to have to go through this. Really. I might just run on up here to, to this bank and see. I might get my other phone. I'm going to get this, get my other phone right quick. And I'm going to call this number that the lady gave me. And I'm going to see if if i can possibly find out because this this is the original check right here and it does not have a name at the top and it's got like a design on the check so it can't really i don't know but it this check do look suspect i should have paid more attention but we we might end up going to court for $42 just to prove a point because that don't make no sense. I'm, you know, I'm trying to be nice and I even let the dude get the shirts when it was two people. A lot of people wouldn't have done that. Okay, where? Okay, I got it right here. Let me see. I'm gonna call this number right quick. Hopefully this phone, somebody done called my phone. Let me see who that was. Called my phone. Uh, oh, let me call this 1-800 number right quick. Yeah, these people tripping. calling capital one bank para español o prima el otro. we are currently experiencing no i just that wait sele that selection is not valid i one didn't moment. i didn't select Al one i'm sorry i didn't get that in a few words tell us why you're calling today for example you can say i want to transfer funds or I need to reorder checks to so, your specific non sufficient funds check. You're calling about possible fraud on your account. Do I have that right? Yeah, if you if that's what you want to call it, yeah. In order to get you to the right person, you'll need to identify your account. Please say 
sorry, I didn't quite get that. Please say or enter your debit card number or social security number. If you need to get your account information, say, hold on, and I'll wait for you. I don't have an account with your bank. I do not have Please enough. Hold while we transfer you to the next available customer service representative. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality control purposes. John, say I speak to. What's up, Ella Dean? The current wait for an agent is more than 10 minutes. Y'all. If you would like I to just, receive a call back, I just waited 40 one. minutes. Otherwise, continue to hold for the next available agent. Please enter your full phone number, including area code. All right, they said that they are going to contact me when an agent becomes available. I'm going to call this number back because the lady told me it was an automated system. She said it was an automated system for businesses. Thank you for calling Capital One Bank. Para Español o Prima El Ocho. We are currently experiencing high call volumes. For the fastest service, we encourage you to take advantage of our automated phone system, online banking, or our mobile app for account servicing needs. For information concerning government-issued economic impact payments, please visit CapitalOne.com slash economic payment. Wait times to speak with an agent are expected to exceed 20 I, minutes. I had to hit mute because if I say if anything, she going to hear me. regarding the Small Business Administration Paycheck Protection Program or economic impact payments, also referred to as stimulus payments, please press 9. Otherwise, how can we help you today? You can say things like, I need to reorder checks, or what's my account balance? This might be them calling me. Let me answer this. Hello? Hi, this is Capital One calling you about your account. Please note that all calls are recorded for quality and security purposes. One moment while I connect you with an agent. Thank you. Hello, this is Olive Chapter 1, and I'm answering to your request of a call back. Can we please start with your first and last name? Sinicia Weisinger. What may I help you today, ma'am? I'm, I'm, uh... I'm calling and I actually had called earlier, but I I had someone that wrote a check to my business and I have the I had when I was on the phone with them earlier, I had the check that was sent back from my bank, but I have right here the original check and they were saying that I it, it's supposed to have a name on here, but it it doesn't have a name on here unless they altered it, but this the checks that I have have a design on it, so but it doesn't look altered. And it's from the, the fire department. I did some t-shirts for them. The, um, some of them pay with this check and some of them pay in cash. So I was just trying to see because they wrote, wrote the check and it was a non-sufficient funds check. So I'm, I'm just trying to um, see what I need to do. But I have on the check. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, it's just that I'm not, I'm not Um, I need to, uh, well, they told me this was an automated system to where I could call and I could um, see, verify the, if the money was in this account so that I could try to get, to get my money.
these glasses on so I can see. Yeah, I'm sorry, my battery low. I'm gonna go get this charger. I'm gonna get the charger. Let me let this train go by. All right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so in this case, yeah, we can definitely um, uh, verify if the funds are available. Can you please provide me with the check? I'm sorry, the um, account number? It's 563-140. 5340 5340 Thank you. You're welcome. One moment. Trying to get this charger and this train is making all this noise. Can you tell me what is the name on the account? Now, on this on this account it has Let me see. It's got D and it's D A I G R E P O N T. So it's like the first initial, and then it's, I guess that's the last name. And I have the driver's license, it's got the driver's license number below that, and an email address. It really, uh, it really don't look like a, you know, just looking at it now, it looks like a bogus check or something as far as the you know because usually people have their first and the, you know the full name and a phone number on the check right okay um well what is the amount of the check to see if uh, this version has the funds available um it's 42 dollars okay yeah the funds are available at this time okay all right, and and I have a question. Um, is is the Mansfield Bank still open in Mansfield, Louisiana? Is it like, cause when I was on the phone with them earlier, they were saying the closest one to me was Shreveport, but Mans I get to Mansfield before Shreveport. Okay, one moment. Okay. The one in in Mansfield, Louisiana. Um, it, and I am unsure of the exact road that that one is on, but it's it's bef you know I'm I'm like over probably about seventy miles or so from Shreveport, but from Mansfield I'm about forty miles. Mm, it's just that the only one that I have is is the Mansfield Road transport. Louisiana. Okay, because they had one in Mansfield. Did they close that one down or something? Well, it's just like because I look at I looked it up, but it's not like um, the name of the branch or the market or that the branch is there. It's on the road, like on Mansfield Road. Okay. All right. And um, you said that bank closes at five today. Yep. Exactly oh, five okay. p.m. Eastern time. Okay. And um, with me not being a member of the bank, I can go through the drive-thru or do I need to go? Because I know that everywhere is closed inside, right? Yes, exactly. You'll have to go through the uh, drive-thru with the teller. Okay, and I have a, I have a question. Um, what is the fee? Mm -hmm. How much do they charge to cash, to cash checks? Because um, I would normally deposit it into my banks, you know, mm -hmm. into my bank, but because the insufficient funds, I didn't want to take that chance again because I just had, you know, already been charged fees. Right. Um, I don't think there's a cost. Let okay. me verify real quick, but I don't believe that there's a cost uh, to cash the check. Okay. Y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to put it on mute for a minute. Yeah, that, that that lady trip, and I just told her the same thing because this check is the same one that the bank sent me. But the one, you know, I don't know if any of y'all ever got an insufficient funds check sent to y'all from your bank, but it's like on a yellow slip, and it's a copy of this same paper. It's like what you would see if you, you know, when you deposit it into your account. So I don't know, I don't know 
I guess I'm about to drive up here and get this little forty-two dollars just so they can't have it because. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I was double checking, and it seems like there is a, there is a charge for that. It's really up to the branch, it seems, but it could be around five dollars. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for calling. Have a great rest of your day. Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah, they charge five dollars, but I'm gonna I'm try to talk them out of charging anything because they trip. And let me call my son and see if he gonna ride up here to the bank with me, right quick. And uh, then I'm about to head on up here before they don't have no more money in their account. Cause they tripping. But what y'all got going on today? Jason says, seems so I hope for everyone's sake we start uh -huh. to do that. Well, hey son, I'm about to have to ride to Shreveport. You want to ride with me? Not you don't? No. Who, who let their mama ride by themselves? What kind of people do that? But all right. All right. Bye. Mm -hmm. I was going to get you something while we was up here, but bye. <laughs> he playing the game, and he don't want to go with me. Let me check with my sister right quick because she got my son, my other son, and they just got to Manny, so I'm about to go. Hello? Hey. Hey. Oh, but I was thinking I was calling Ari. Why you sounded like Ari when you answered the phone? Because <laughs> I was making the face you would be making. Uh, so I had somebody to write me a bad check, and they got the money in the account. So I'm about to go to the bank. They supposed to have one in Mansfield, but for some reason they didn't see the one in Mansfield. It's Capital One. So I'm finna run and run up here and get this money right quick because this check was wrote to me last year and I I didn't even notice it until I was looking through some paperwork. But um I'm in Manny right now. Is uh you you y'all gonna be down here for a minute? Um, uh, how long gonna be down here? Probably to about 4, 4.30. Okay, because I was finna run and I'm going straight back. I don't know if I'm going to have to go to Shreveport or not if the one in Mansfield is not open because they claim it's not. So if so, you can just leave AJ there and I'll get him when I come back. Okay, you might want to make sure they're going to be open because I know some places were closed like an hour earlier. Um, They said they would be open till 5. I, I asked them on, on there. I double checked and asked them because I know on Friday some of them do be closing early. But well, all right. All right. Bye. All right. Uh, Ella Dean says banks charge to cash checks from accounts held in their own branch. Wow, I haven't had that issue in years. And it used to be free. Yeah, it used to be free. My bad. It used to be free, but for some reason, like even the banks around here, they didn't used to charge because I'm in like a itty bitty town. But I guess they was like, we can get money for that. But now they charge because I had a I had a check from somebody one time. And um, sometimes when it's if it's a person, I have accepted one from a person that I knew before, and I was just like, write it to me, and I, you know, but I go right to their bank. And I don't deposit into my account to avoid the fees, which um, the fees used to be more. Um, but at my bank, the fee is seven dollars. But I don't want to pay seven dollars and then five dollars. So instead of me getting the um, forty-two dollars that I'm owed, I'm getting less than that, y'all. So yeah, let me go because this iPhone battery is kind of low. Let me um go and get in this car and. Do I got the check? Yeah, I got the check. Then I'm going to get this other check. I'm going to have both of the checks just to be safe. And I'm going to leave this big mess here to clean up at another time right here. Yeah, but I won't be doing business with the fire department. That's probably why they was like, yeah, we're going we gonna to get her to print everything. The snow cone place is open. They was like, we're going to get her to print everything for us because she don't charge nothing. She printing for free. That might be what they what they thought, but that was wrong. Y'all yeah, gotta give me another um uh, another phone thing because this one that I have it don't work. 
It, well, I don't even have it no more. Okay. Okay, here it is right here. But, but um, it didn't fit right in my car, so I let somebody else have it. Let me see where I can put this phone in for just a minute while I try to show y'all. Okay. Well, I try to show y'all this um plug my phone up. Yeah, but this is the envelope I got from my bank right here. As y'all know, the girl been with Bank Corp South since I was like eighteen years old. And this right here, this the check right here, the little check. This the big check right here, but it's a, it's falling. It's the same thing as this other check right here, but I don't know why they act like it's supposed to have something on there. D A. Yeah, it's got the same thing. I just told them the same thing. You know, sometimes when you get people, when you when you get people and you be trying to deal with them on something, they be trying to um they give you problems for no reason. Then I call and got a different person. Yeah, I got it. I'm about to go go to their bank and cash this check. That's where I'm headed right now. Going. What's up, Kenny Boy? Just act, want another VIP, y'all. And y'all, I'm sorry. I've been working on so much stuff. I have not even put the stuff up. I got, uh, when I get back in town, I actually had said I was going to do it today. But um, when I get back in town, I have some downloads to do. And um, the last week of the month, I'm going to do, I'm going a, I'm to a have to do a trial thing where I can, when I do the live stream, I'm going to do it from my computer at home. And all of y'all Prince Club members, y'all going to have the option if y'all want to come on and um join me on the live streams where y'all can see the people that can talk to you or if you don't want them to see you you know how to not let your camera show so that's what that's what we're gonna do right there because all the vips y'all got y'all got special access so when we go on the live streams and stuff y'all gonna y'all gonna be able to go live with me on some of the lives and then it may be some some lives where y'all the only ones that can that can come in i don't know but i think y'all would like it better the other way where you know where everybody can see and that way if y'all got something that y'all want to talk about or show or whatever y'all can just take over take over the live stream and i'll just be right there in the in the print squad too so y'all just look at the cows over there the cows chilling Cows over there chilling. Let me see. Y'all know I'm in the woods. Y'all already know. Don't don't act like y'all didn't know that your girl live in the woods. Let me see. I'm hoping this bank in Mansfield is open, so I won't have to go all the way to Shreveport. But the gas is cheaper up there. Look, my my tank stay full since the gas don't went down. I'm not even at half yet. I'm not even on half yet. When I stop up here to get gas, it'll be like $10. Let me see if I can call. Uh, let's see. Denise says, I need to be where you are seeing it's going up. Y'all, today it's a beautiful day. It's a really beautiful day. I've been riding with the, with the sunroof on it all day. The air conditioner on a little bit, it's on low, because it's not, it's it's only hot. It's like if I open the sunroof, it's not hot, but it, it's a nice day. It's a nice day. And it, y'all, it be cold in my house. Like, it's been cold. I've been having to turn the heat on a little bit. Been having to turn the heat on a little bit. Let me see, y'all. Uh, Jason says, hope I figure out that. But shoot, they better give me my money. That's what they better do. 
or the part, the little part of it that I can, seven dollars to cash a check is ridiculous. Oh, they charge. She said she think they might charge five, but I already paid seven for the NSF, the non-sufficient funds fee. And look, this happened in 2019, y'all. Like y'all know when I, when I was sick and stuff, and and like I didn't finish up all my stuff for the year. I haven't I haven't even filed papers and stuff. Like I just like. When I take orders and I have the forms, I just, um, you know, I, I put them together in like one of those big paper clips, like, like a paper clip like these right here, and uh, and then I file them away. But I haven't even done that, like with the order forms. Really, I can go through and throw some of them away. But I like to keep the order forms because y'all know it's got the people's contact info on there, and like when I when I run specials. I can um, go back through, but what I need to start doing is right now their contact info, and when I have, when I have like deals or specials, I can start texting them. Look, that's a tip right there for y'all. That's a tip. You know, when you, whenever you have them to fill out the forms, which if y'all get my forms that I'm selling on W Productions, W Productions, and on T-shirtchicktv.com, um, y'all can get all the forms that I use at my shop. But um, you see, is the you said is the bank open for ATM? There's no bank teller working. I tried a couple, and the only what it was talking about. They just told me, they just told me that um, this bank is open. This is Capital One, Capital One Bank. They said that the one on Mass. On Mansfield Road, this is my son calling y'all. Give me a sec. Hello, hello, hello. No, I'm driving. What's up? Oh, I talked to your auntie. She told me y'all was there. I'm I'm having to um, take care of some business right quick. I'll be that way in a little bit. I'll call you before I head there. All right. Bye. I started to go by and get him, but a lot of times he don't be wanting to leave. So I'm just like, because I'm trying to hurry and go ahead and do this and get on back, I'm not trying to go and try to convince him to come go with me. Because when I don't, like if I go over to my mom's house and I'm just like trying to pick him up, he's not going to be ready to go. I'm going to have to stay 30, 40, maybe even an hour just to get him to come. So... I let him call me, and then, you know, he'll be waiting outside for me. It's a couple. Yeah, I called them, and they told me the, that one is open till 5. You don't have to worry about hip check. No, no, not really. Y'all, why? My cousin told me that the police was not pulling people over because of, of you know, y'all know what's going on. I ain't gonna say it because they just ended my live stream and talking about I was doing something, uh, talking about something I ain't had no business or something, and I wasn't. I don't talk about things I don't have no business talking about. Because I ain't worried about YouTube watching me, God watching me. But, um, so she was like, yeah, they're not pulling folks over. So why I was headed to Shreveport on Wednesday. I was um uh, I was up there and it was a, a team that kept going. The light had already changed. They had two lights. So the cop was coming the opposite way. They U turned up under that light, went and pulled them over and I'm like, Oh, they are pulling folks over. She talking about they ain't pulling folks over. They are Denise says they not here if you don't have a mask on. Yeah. Maybe that dude didn't even have no mask on, but when those 18 wheelers do that, you know how, y'all know how sometimes the, the 18 wheeler will be turning and they'll take forever to turn and the light will change before they even get to turn because they drive so slow. But then when the light is yellow, they'll still keep going and hold up the other people from being able to go because the other side has changed. I hate when they do this. So not saying that I was glad that the dude got it, but I wasn't. I wasn't mad because I'm like, even though he he might not been the one that's been doing it all the time, but that that irritates me. That's something that irks irks my nerves right there. 
Kenny says that's the truth when it comes uh, when it comes God watches us. Yep. But yeah, y'all, um I have been um trying to get my mom to do these masks, y'all, but I'm 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 a uh I'm going to do a couple of videos. My plan today, I was hoping my son, he wasn't supposed to be back. Ari, he wasn't supposed to be back until tomorrow. But my cousin's son, because TK took my son and my cousin's son. She took Ari and Landon and, and Rion as her son. So she had all three of them. But they wasn't supposed to come back until tomorrow. But they came back because... Landon said he missed his mom, but when when Landon is here and his mom is out work, he don't he be trying to get away. So I'm like, really? So I missed this day that I was supposed to be. Um, today I was gonna do them but film film videos because I got so many topics to film about. So when I get back, I'm gonna um I'm gonna go film some videos. Yeah, I'm gonna go film some videos because um. I'm kind of falling behind a little bit. I got some old videos, but some of them are like super long, and I have had some people that's been asking questions. So I'm gonna do some videos answering some of those questions and talking about some other things that's going on, and um, you know, just just trying to get things back rolling. And I do have a few things that I need to. I, I'll be doing some things. Um, Right now, I'm, I want to go and get this taken care of. I should have went up, got up this morning looking to do this, but I've been on hold for like an hour with these folks. Then I had a few errands to run this morning. But yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on. Um, but what what I want to do is I want to do a live stream. So I'm gonna give y'all heads up on this live stream. So what I want y'all to do is y'all can um, come up with some things that y'all want to print on some shirts. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go live. I'm going to um, do, do the design, like design something for y'all. And I'm going to print it on some shirts, you know, just to do some stuff because I know right now a lot of people are at home and, and not working and stuff or working at home, you know, when you're working at home, you can just finish your work and you don't have to be at work all day, you know, but, um, but then sometimes you, you work all night. That, that's the thing with working at home. You know, some, some people workaholics, they don't know how to stop working. So you could be up all night trying to get it done so that you can get it done as soon as possible. Then with some jobs, that getting it done as soon as possible is causing you to have to do extra because they're like, okay, this person, they quit. They they got all this paperwork done. I'm going to give them my paperwork to do. Brad says, I don't stop. It don't stop. Yeah, you, you try to get it, get it done quick or stay up all night doing it, but only to still have to do it the next day. What's up, Jennifer? Is that big, big Yoda? Is that, I can't hardly see if that good. I need to brighten my phone up, but. Denise says they don't, okay. I read that already. All right, is that Clifton? Clifton from Norfolk? Oh, no, that's North, Northampton, UK. What's up, Clifton? I appreciate you joining us all the way from the UK. What uh, what time is it over on your side? Right now it is almost 3 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I'm in Central Time. Yep. Uh, let me see. Jennifer says, where is the best place to buy a button maker? with interchangeable and different sizes, interchangeable different sizes. I am not sure. Uh, mine, mine has, uh, what do you call it? 
mine is just one size. Like I have the three inch one, and y'all know I got that uh, two and a half vacuum unit thing. I still haven't upgraded on that one yet, but um, the three inch buttons, I feel like it's the way to go though. Cause most people, like um, Dr. Dunn was telling me that the kids love the one and a half inch, one and a half inch buttons. But I don't get a lot of orders from kids. But I was, I, I tried the little thing out. I didn't really. Buttons is the way to go. The big buttons and the two and a, the three inch ones and the two two inches or two and a half, depending on what uh thing you have. Because the three inch buttons, you know, you put photos on those and like you can do like some RIP buttons. You can do like uh, senior buttons. Like if your if your child plays a sport, you can do that. And with the uh, with the two inch buttons, that's the size that they like for birthdays. So if it's kids' birthdays and stuff like that, they they like those. Adults like those too. So every now and then, you'll have a uh, adult that wants a three inch button. But you know the the one inch button, which you can do a lot of other stuff with the one inch buttons and the smaller button makers. Some people make like jewelry earrings, um, necklaces. Some people make all kind of things with those but um to me because i'm not that much of a crafter like i'm more of of i print the shirts I'm, I'm about to get back into drawing and stuff you know uh, me and my young son has started back drawing or started drawing because he wanted to learn how to draw but i'm about to i'm about to really get back to like doing some serious drawing like how i used to do especially now that this time I'm, I got to give me a, a drawing pad so that I can, uh, you know, have it digitized and stuff. But but I'm about to get to drawing. That way I can start doing my own designs, original designs instead of having to. Um, you welcome, Jennifer. But that way I don't have to, you know, worry about manipulating the clip or like what I can do is find some stuff you know, draw it into my own and go from there. And then a lot of the stuff, because sometimes it be stuff like I, like I have these designs in my mind and sometimes I, you know, I have to try to find clip art that looks like that. But sometimes you can't find that clip art that's, you know, looking, thank you, um, is it Jocelyn? Okay, okay, yeah, Jocelyn, I appreciate that. Yeah, y'all hit the thumbs up button, show your girls some support. The thumb, by hitting the thumbs up button, that's letting people know that y'all like the video. So YouTube will recommend the videos more. And y'all know when I get to 50,000, I'm doing the biggest giveaway that I've ever that I ever done. So I need about, I think about 5,000 more people and I'll be at 50,000. But I'm going to be giving away a heat press and I'm going to, a heat press or a screen printing press. And then I'm going to do like a few little smaller, smaller items too. But the main winner is going to get their choice between a heat press and a screen print press. And I'm not I'm not trying to buy the cheapest of the cheap. I'm not buying no bad checks either, y'all, because your girl not balling like that. Your girl not balling like that. But um, I am uh, probably going to buy like a, a heat press, nation heat press. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to try to get with, I would like to get with Ryan at on the screen printing presses. But... Um, I don't know, because I was, uh, Ryan had contacted me um, on Tuesday. It was like Tuesday afternoon, and I don't know if y'all do, if y'all know, but my son's birthday was on Wednesday. And, you know, with everything going on, you can't do a whole lot, but, you know, I had to go and um, and run around and get, you know, get the things together for his birthday to do it, to do him a little something, because we had him a little get-together at my mom's house, and, uh, uh-oh. Let me slow it down. They leading a, a big truck, but I was going about 70 and the speed limit was 45. So let me let me try to go about 55 right now, and I should be good. But anyway, um, so he had contacted me to film a video, and I don't know. I I didn't. I really had a lot going on. And it was kind of hectic to, to have to stop everything to go film the video. So I didn't get the video done, so I don't know. Hopefully he's not mad. But it was a video. Y'all know how uh, how they are. They contacting the screen printers, the T-shirt printers and stuff like that. Um, but somehow 
they already did three of them, so I was going to be on the fourth video. So I, I must have not, not been too important, or I would have been on one of the earlier videos, I think. But they, they like talking to y'all or talking to them, asking them questions about, like, T-shirt printing and what's going on now and, like, how is it affecting your business? You know, they ask you, like, different questions and stuff like that. But the questions that they asked me were some hard questions, and I was, like, having to try to get some help to try to answer questions. And I'm like, really? Um, Big said, um, have you noticed how you can't click on people's channel through live chat? Yes, yes, I noticed that. You used to be able to do that, and you can't do it now. Um, they are changing some stuff. Like, I was watching a video the other day, and um, who is that says, Michael says he got a bad text. D1000, 68. Yeah, but I was uh, I was watching a video the other day. Like, on, on mobile, you can't check your stats right now. Like, you know how, how like, on, well, I don't know if any of y'all ever try to check your stats on a YouTube video. Like, if you have videos posted, you can go and look and see um, how many people have watched it, what's, what's your percentage of views, and where does today's views rank with yesterday's views? Where does this video rank? You know, it's like all your statistics and stuff like that so that you can try to see what your people like and try to, you know, try to produce videos that people want to watch, you know, stuff like that. So um, with, with all of that, you can't do it on your mobile phone. And then just like say that I film a video on my phone, like some people – film on their phone and they may edit on their phone or you can put it on your computer and edit it but um on your phone you don't really have that many options you really can't see your stats you can't you know it's so much stuff you can't do on your phone so i don't know and i don't know i'm kind of mad about that um the thing from earlier the live stream from earlier because i didn't do nothing wrong And I don't want, I'm not trying to get no strikes, no strikes from YouTube or nothing. Because right now, with things being slow, YouTube is, is one of my incomes that I need to keep coming in and to do better. Even though they don't pay you that much. What's up, Flex? But yeah, YouTube is changing a lot of stuff, and um, and I I have seen that they are doing a few a few things better than the old. Cause I was like, I don't want to switch, cause you know they making everybody so. But yeah, they um they making everybody switch, but the new one still, you know, it's some um, things that's a little bit different about it than the old one, and so you know, like I'm a person, I know where everything is at, so I don't want to upgrade. Because now everything is in a different place, which they are adding some better features. So, you know, some of the stuff I'm liking, and I guess I'll eventually get used to it, though. But, but yeah. Kenny says, all my family is doing good. Oh, oh. These popo. I wish these popo would sit down somewhere, y'all. Let me let me hope they ain't trying to get me because the speed limit was 65 and I was in between 70 and 70. I was doing like 73, probably like 73. So hopefully hopefully they ain't trying to get get your girl for that little bit of over speed limit. I mean they everywhere. It's cops sitting up here. They be sitting out here waiting for those trucks because it's like I don't know what they got going on. But it's like some big trucks with some um with some. Culverts, maybe I don't know, or some plastic tubing, whatever. I don't even know what it is, but they been driving through here like every day, like every, pretty much every day. You see a few trucks coming through here with those things on the back, and then you, the police get behind them and they like trail them, I guess, to make sure that everything is okay. I don't know. And then some, some of them be going back with nothing on the truck, and the police still be with them, I guess, giving them somewhat of an ex. Uh, escort, I was about to say export, but how you ex, ex I know the word I mean, escort them if you're behind, I, I don't get that, you got any of them, or both, 
Yeah, so, um, I don't know. I got a few, um, sit down, po -po. yeah, they need to sit down somewhere. I'm just trying to get up here and get on back. And they just sitting out, like, waiting for somebody to do something wrong. But they, I think they're not really checking for nobody. I think they just wait for those trucks. So, yeah. But, yeah, have anybody, is there anybody on here that, well, first off, well, I'm going to ask y'all about these stimulus packages. Have y'all got y'all stimulus package? And, and if so, is there anybody on here that's looking to buy, to upgrade or to buy some new equipment or to go ahead and get started if they have not, um, if they have not got started yet? Because, because here's my thing with it, y'all, like, um, Jesse says no. Let me see. What's up, Red? Z Bruce Real Red says, is that nuclear waste is usually travel with some it's nothing in it. It's like like it's one up here in front of me. Let, let me I'ma speed up, even though the police is behind them, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to catch up with them. And um I'll probably catch up with them because we about to be at a red light here in a minute if the light get them. But it's like a long it's nothing in them. It's just like a it's, it's probably about as tall as a phone pole, but it's just like a, it's kind of like a, a straw. You know, y'all know how the straws are and they hollow and you can see through them, but it's not a straw. It's like, I guess they would put it underground, like some water pipes or some type of tubing or something like that. It's, but they're like, they, they pretty big. They real long. I'm going to see the one that's up here don't have anything on the back of it. But you can probably kind of get an idea if you can see that. But um, so it's they're empty. It, it don't have anything in it. It's just like something that they would put on the ground. It looks like they would connect them together underground or something. And it may be for water or gas or oil or something. I don't know. I don't know. They something dealing with with that. But it's not it's not any nuclear waste or anything because it's just like the tubing, and I guess it's plastic. It could be glass or metal. I'm I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. Or maybe it's glass. Maybe that's why they're following them. I don't know to make sure it gets there safe. Kenny says I ordered my heat press and vinyl cutter, so it should be here Monday. Yeah, because I'm about to do some upgrades myself. I'm about to do at least one upgrade right now. One thing I'm thinking about, but I'm, I haven't 100% made up my mind on that, but the one thing I have, so I will be go ahead and doing that. But yeah, I, I do have some experiment. Like I'm, I'm ready to get a setup at home, y'all, so that I won't have to, like, like what I've been doing a lot of too, is working on stuff at home, like, um, like with, with my house or whatever, I got stuff still in boxes. I've been like going through, like trying to get rid of stuff. And like some stuff is stuff that I'm like, I don't really want to throw away. Brad says, got my B1000 installed and print and test stuff. All right, Brad, go ahead and get used to it. Cause by the time, um, by the time you, you know, everything is done, you will know what to do and you'll be ready. Ready to knock some orders out quick. Keisha says, does it look like big P Yeah, it looked like some big PVC pipes or something. That's what it looked like. That's why I was saying plastic. Uh, what's up, Tony P? Says, I'm definitely get, getting me a heat press with a pull-out drawer. Yeah, um, get that get that 16 by 21. Like, I, I really love that press. Like, I, do, I really love it. Like, I, I, like, the, I like the Higgs press. You know, I like that one, but with all the issues, you know, I had to give it back. But I'm kind of glad now because I would have been stuck with that heat press. Just like when I got my first heat press, I got that, the swing away heat, the little 15 by 15. And I still got it. It still works. Actually, my sister has said that she wants that heat press now. So I'm going to let her get it. She's talking about getting into doing some sublimation stuff herself. So... I've been, um, you know, trying to work with her on this, so I'll probably do a video to help her get everything set up pretty soon. But, um, but yeah, 
the the um auto open 16 by 20. I like that. Nice heat press. And they do have the new version, the um Signature Pro series. It's a little bit more. And to be honest with you, I don't even. I don't know. I'm not. I wouldn't really. I don't know. If you want to get the Signature Pro, it ain't nothing wrong with it. But it's really. It's. It didn't have the pressure gauge on it. And it didn't have a timer on it. It had the little timer that came with it. It was like a little oven timer. And I did some things with that. Y'all see how far I've got now, which I still would like to upgrade. Because the, the um, screen printing press I have is more like a hobby press, which, you know, it's nothing to it. It's just kind of like, you know, when I, got, when I got a heat press that's already working, I just wanted to upgrade and get a bigger heat press. So I got two heat presses, but... I was actually going to send one back to Stalls Press and send the other one back and, you know, just review it and send it back and stuff. But because I love that one so much, I kept it. So that's the thing right there. Okay, Popo, what, what y'all doing now? Come on now. Because the Popo getting over in this other lane. Maybe they don't want me to pass. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to stay behind them for a minute at least. Let y'all see what's going on. I don't know. Y'all might can see this truck thing up here. So I'm trying to not get too close to these polo. I'm trying. What's up, Karen? How you doing? Some people says, love my swing away black series. But I want the pull-out drawer for convenience. Look, I liked my swing away. I, like, I would have oh, I would have never, ever got another press other than a swing away. Because, like, you know, when you got the clamshell press from, like, if you have never, you have never, um, if the only press you ever had, because the only press that I ever had in person was that swing away press. So with that swing away press, um, that was what I was used to. I didn't know no better. You know, that that was the press I had. That was what I was used to. When I did my research, it was like, okay, the clamshell press, the heat is close to you. You want to get the swing away. That way you can move the heat away from you. So that was why I got the swing away press. I didn't want to, uh, you know, and, and even though the swing away press takes up a little bit extra space because you have to have space behind it and to the side of it so that you can swing the press away. But when I got this um, pull-out drawer, my nose itching for some reason, y'all. When I got this pull-out drawer press, that's the clamshell, and it auto-opens. What? What? That's, like, the best thing ever, I'm telling you. Like, my, like, just having a, a basic swing weight, but I got the stalls, the press that everybody wants. Like, everybody that see the, the stalls press, that's the press that everybody wants. But I like this, um, the Heat Press Nation one. So y'all make sure y'all use your links when y'all when y'all purchase your, um, you know, when you decide to purchase your Heat Press. It don't matter which links you click on, just just any of the links. And once you get onto that website, then, you know, just help your girl out. Because I'm providing these videos for y'all for free. And also, I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing this giveaway pretty soon, and I'm paying for that, like, I'm paying for it, I'm going to try to see if I can get some type of deals worked out with the companies, but if not, I'm paying for it out of my pocket, and I'm prob I'm pretty sure I'm probably, they're not going to give the stuff away free, I probably can get a little bit off of it, you know, get a little discount or something, but, um, you know, just to be promotional to whatever company, but I'm not, um, I'm pretty sure the money coming out of my pocket. So with y'all using my links, that kind of helps with that. You know, it helped me be able to give y'all some better things. Because right now, y'all know everybody, everybody kind of, you know, unless you're a billionaire, everybody kind of, you know, trying to save and stuff and only get things that you know. Like my, my thing is I'm not buying nothing. I'm not buying nothing if 
I'm not going to be using it within three months. It's something that I can do without. I'm not, I'm not going to be buying it. So anything I'm buying right now is something that can make me some money or something that I just need. Like I need to get a desk because when I move, my my mom them just tore up my desk, my home desk. So I don't want my computer, my, like my CPU unit, sitting on the floor. I want it to be sitting on, you know, sitting on the desk. Because when it's on the floor and stuff like that, it collects dust and it probably won't last as long. And, you know, you'll be having to replace the fan and different things, you know. So that's, a, that's something I'm going to be doing. But, um, yeah. Mona says, I make other things, too. Real Red Zebra says, my son lost his job. I had to stimulate him, his car payment with my check. Whoa. Why Did he call the people? Because, you know, a lot of the places, like when you call the number, it's telling you, we'll help you. Or if you go online, it's telling you, we'll help you you are already behind like if you call the bank they they'll you know they'll help you all these are uh, the credit card companies the banks um some of the renters the only thing that i can't guarantee that you're getting help with is like your rent because it depends on your landlord like some some landlords could be elderly people who really need that money to survive so they like, look, you either going to pay or you're going to get out and somebody else going to pay. You know, that's how they feel because they need that money to survive. But, um, it, you know, if it's big companies, a lot of them even are helping. But, yeah, if you if y'all and like I'm telling y'all right now is come up season, y'all. I actually had filmed a video, but my mic had when I was using the wireless mic and it wasn't working. So. I, I haven't posted that video because I'm going to have to go back and voice over it or, or redo, just redo the video because it's taking a lot. But this right here is come up season, y'all. Like how um, the stimulus, the little stimulus checks, you know, um, y'all could possibly use that or just hold on to it because what, what I believe is about to happen is, um, because of how everything is and, and people not really trying to spend, well, I, I can't lie, y'all. Some people be trying to spend stuff because I was in Walmart the other day and I would, Walmart was packed on Thursday, y'all. After them little stimulus checks came out, Walmart was packed. And it was people in there buying stuff like, um, like pillows for their couch, like a bunch of house things to make their house look nice. Now, first off, first off, we ain't supposed to be you know, just having a whole bunch of people up in our house and stuff right now. If y'all really trying to quarantine, but, um, but like, they was buying like a lot of household stuff, like, um, you know, little knickknacks and whatnot that you would put in your house, like decorations, like house decorations. And stuff. And like, why, why would you be spending your little stimulus checks? Unless you got, if you got, even if you got, Say you got 10 kids, you know, and you got $500 for, for all 10 of your kids. You you know, you have a little bit of money, but I wouldn't go and I was supposed to check in Mansfield to see if that bank was still there, but I'm, I'm past Mansfield now, so I'm going to go on up here to Shreveport. But anyway, you know, you don't want to just spend all your money on decorations for the house. Like right now, I'm probably about to sell my living room furniture. And, and give me just one couch because I got a sexual and it takes up a lot of space and I want to get my weight room up to par because I'm about to go ahead and start working out. I'm about to start filming workout videos every morning on the other channel, on the red channel. I'm I was just at Sam's um, Wednesday. Sam's got food. Sam's got plenty, plenty food. I don't know what, well, I know like our Walmart, sometimes it might be a hair product that you use and you've been using for the last three years and they've been having it. Um, I don't know, the, the internet, it keeps messing up, but yeah, like 
Yeah, but Walmart be tripping. Some of them, they don't order stuff. You know, when you run out, it takes them forever to get it back, or they never get it back. I don't know why they do that. But the Walmart that my cousin there, who are in charge of ordering and stuff, that that's why people don't be, um, you know, why they don't be ordering. So let me see why I put this shit in. I think I put it in here. Yeah, I, I put it in there. Let me get out these people lane over here. They have until Tuesday to So they don't they don't have your press. They don't lost your press. Them people out their mind. Hey, tell them you'll take the money. And I charge the installation fee and everything. That's awful. Hopefully they get everything sorted out and get you your press. Yeah, they need they need to get the woman her press before the whole squad be on them. Who's shipping that press, Karen? Because we're we going to have to call them. All of us need to call them and question it. DHL. Yeah, how, how you going to lose something that big? Somebody must have took it. That's what must have happened because it's impossible to lose something that big. Maybe you couldn't carry it. Maybe that, that would have been a better excuse. We couldn't carry the press. The press is too big. It's too heavy for us to lift. That's crazy. And who ships with DHL? DHL. If it's the DHL, I'm, I'm remembering that. I don't know. DHL, when you mail a letter, it takes six weeks for it to go to the next city over. Keisha says press or money. Kenny says they suck. I never use them. Yeah, they they do suck. But the DHL that I remember, I would have never, I would have never used them. I would have had to buy one of them a desk 
so I ended up just buying my older son the disc that he wanted, and my young son is getting his disc, and that that's how we rolling with that. But um, other than that, I'm not I'm not trying to buy too much, but the disc it wasn't that expensive. It was it actually I found the best price on it because it was expensive on some sites, but uh. says bag. She said they called on her son's birthday. Karen said the new stimulus package they working on supposed to pay everyone two thousand dollars a month until it's over. That'll be nice right there. Look, I'm telling you, your girl is gonna be balling if they do that. I hope they do that. Your girl is gonna be balling. Keisha says, Sin, are they in the school early in Louisiana? They're in the early here, only two weeks left. Um, they was uh, they supposed to got out on the 15th, but right now they are out until the 30th. So they were supposed to get out on the 15th of next month, but right now, so I am not sure. I just had to um, text the teacher back because... Karen said, big ball. I said, yeah, your, your girl going to be balling if they going to give us that money like that. Tell you, this this is come up season, y'all. Y'all got to just keep finding a way to make some money. Just keep finding a way to make some money and use everything that they offering right now. Like, if the bank is saying, help you out. So especially for people who, like, live in check to check. Like, if you waiting on your check just so you can pay your bills, if you call all your people like right now they're not turning off stuff like uh well they're not supposed to be turning off like water and electric essential things i don't even think at&t is turning off phones or nothing because um oh, i thought there was somebody i knew from what i from what i understood uh somebody had got a letter i'm gonna have to call them back And call them back. But um uh, but yeah, somebody had got a letter and they were saying that they was, you know, was trying to help people too. They weren't gonna be like if you need help, all you gotta do is call these companies. Everything is falling on floor. All you gotta do is call these companies and um uh, and they'll work with you. Most of them. Now some of them they gonna do it month to month. You're gonna have to call them back every month. But you know, that's the thing. So so basically what y'all got to do, even if you got the money to pay, you know, take that. If they give you just a month or if they give you three months or have a loan and you'll be ahead on your stuff, you know, where you have the money to pay it. But don't just, I'm not saying blow your money, just spend your money, but hold on to that money. That way you'll be ahead of your bills, you know, because if you're waiting, if you're waiting for your check to come just so you can pay your bills, this, like this, even though this is a hard time right now, you know, people having to stay in and some people are losing jobs and stuff like that. Like if, you know, if you, if you have been working, you know, you, you can get unemployment and stuff like that. You get, you get your unemployment, you get your whatever benefits you can get. And like, I apply for that, for the, what is it called? I want to say the PPP, but it's not the PPP. It's the other one for my business, but I haven't heard them back. And then next thing you know, I hear that they say they said that um they said that the uh they ran out of money for that. So I don't know. So I guess I'm not getting nothing for that. And from what I was hearing, they've been giving people a runaround with the loans, like getting those loans because I don't have employees. I wasn't trying to get the loans. Because my little shop rent ain't for $300. So, you know, that, the only thing that I didn't put on hold is my rent right now. I haven't tried to put that on hold, you know. But y'all y'all use everything that y'all can. Because these people trying to change the flag. And y'all just stand in my blind spot. Yeah. Um, your benefit just so you won't have to be, like, check to check. Especially if you have a job that's working. And y'all, Walmart is hiring. I mean, I don't know if y'all want to actually get out there and work or whatever, but, you know, y'all got options. You got 
uh, unemployment. You got um, some jobs that are still working, and Walmart is really needing a lot of people right now. They're still hiring. Um, my cousin then was like, yeah, if you want to get on at Walmart, yeah, you know, you can work at Walmart, but I'm I'm not trying to get on a Walmart. Like, right now, I don't need to, but if I do need to, I will. But um, I... I'm just trying to hold on to what I have and, you know, using everything to my advantage and trying to work on some other other ways to make money. That's that's my thing right now. Diamond said thumbs up and heart. Um, Karen says, no, you you don't qualify for the PPP. I, look, they got so many different things. Yeah, that, that's what I, the thing that I qualify for, that I qualify, that I applied for was the grant. And it was, it's another thing too. It was one other thing too, Karen. It was like two different loans that you could, that you could get. One where you had to have, uh, one where you had to have, um, what do you call it? I can't even think of it. Employees. One where you had to have employees, one where you didn't have to have employees and I can't think of what they're called because I, I don't watch so many different videos and like read some of the stuff on my own but I apl applied for one of the grants and I didn't hear nothing but I didn't get no email I didn't get no they ain't tell me no yes we got your stuff but we ain't gonna do nothing for you they ain't tell me nothing Keisha said she saw that they gave some money for the PPP uh, yeah, that's what I that's what I was applying for, but right now, from what I'm hearing, they have ran out of money for that. It's what is it called? It may be called the E something. I can't think of what what it's called right now. But yeah, so everybody should come out of this thing on top, unless you didn't have nothing going on or nothing going for you before all this. Like if you if you didn't have no job or no no income coming in. And, you know, where you couldn't get the, um, not even the stimulus package or whatever, you know, the people who didn't qualify for the stim stimulus package, they should be good. They, these people, they make over $100,000 unless they really just blowing money, they should be good. But, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it just, it just be in my account one day and I'll be like, why, why I got $10,000 in my account? What, what's the deal with that? What is the extra 10000 to come from? But yeah, that'll be good. But yeah, the, um, unless you what, didn't have an income coming in, then have, haven't worked in the last couple of years, stuff like that. Other than that, if you you know if you're trying to work, trying to get your business started, trying to um, contribute, then this you know this thing you know it kind of slows down a little bit. But we ought to come out good. We should come out good. And right now, if if y'all can just hold on to to your money for a little bit, like how that lady, those people was at Walmart. Spending up stuff on some home decorations. Spending up stuff on some home decorations. And then you got all the kids here. So if you if you buy home decorations, the kids probably gonna be to knock some knock some of the stuff down and broke it and uh pull the threads out your pillows, put them little sequin things out your pillows. You know, you you don't need to get all this stuff right now. Now is not the time to be buying stuff like that. Now you you hold on to that money and because a lot of people are not buying, a lot of this equipment is probably gonna go down a little bit too. You know. I mean, if y'all see something, y'all know that's what y'all want, you know, maybe go ahead and get it. But, like, if it's something and you like, I don't know, that that thing right there is is a little bit more than I'm wanting to pay right now, you know, some of this stuff, the price will probably drop down a little bit or they'll probably be having, like, a little sale, you know. Karen says, squad, go get the money. Yeah, y'all got to y'all gotta get this money. But, um, I... I don't see this thing as as being too bad, which, okay. Um, what's connected? 
I ain't trying to, let me see. Source. Home. Settings. I'm not trying to have a Bluetooth connect. No Bluetooth, okay? Because that don't sound right when it's connected. Let me turn this whole thing off. Yeah, y'all, but um, if we can just hold on and get through this, business gonna pick up on the other side. Right now, y'all to have all count. I made it through. I made it through uh, t-shirt designs that y'all just sitting on and waiting till this is over to be dropping. And y'all ought to have all y'all paperwork in order. Y'all to have everything organized, y'all. And if y'all don't have y'all paperwork in order, I got. I got all the paperwork that I use for my business on my website. And uh, you y'all can go on there. I, it's 12 forms, 12 forms that I use. And it's everything from my pricing sheet to the print agreement to order forms and um even even to um customize order forms for your for your customers. I have the template for that also. And all you got to do, because I uh, I have it in, like, in Microsoft Word, and I also have it as a, uh, what do you call those things? Dang, they rolling. Because I'm rolling, and they really rolling. But they, I have them in PDF format, too. But, like, I think the reason I was doing it in Word is because I think it's a lot easier. And if you don't have Word, it's another, um, it's another program that's free. And you know, once I send send that to you, anybody who get it, I will be um, letting you know about that program. Also, it's a free program that's basically Word. You can um, open that up in in that same program, edit it any way you need it to edit. Need to edit it and print it out in with your business name on it and changing up whatever you need to change up on it. And you got all your paperwork. Boom with everything you can think of. Like I'm telling you, every situation you ever dealt with, like if you ever messed up somebody's shirts, I got a form for that. If you if you messed it up and y'all came to an agreement, I, got, I had that form where, you know, like you might've messed it up, messed up something, and they said, okay, here's what we gonna do. You know, I got that form. Cause I did that before. And then I, I had to fix it. Actually, y'all saw the video of one of them. I, I've done that more than one time. Which with that one that y'all saw the video of, that was an easy fix because I, you know, I misspelled the word, but they had approved it. Let me see. I think I may be getting close to the Capital One. Come on, light change before I get here. Change before I get there, light. Okay, thank you, light. Okay, this capital one. Nope, it must be the next light. Or the next, next light, because it's not the next light. I can see the next light up there. see kenny says they're making sales like crazy seeing because they know people are not spending that money yeah yeah so y'all be looking around like y'all can right now with this time just like that other that video i did the other day where i went on there and i i, I went on there and i um show people you know if you just all you got is 500 dollars, how to get into the business everything you need i didn't get the teflon cover because like if you're trying to be a cheapskate you know i'm just getting the minimums you're just getting the minimum of everything but you could throw a teflon sheet in there i could have used that last ten dollars and probably got a three pack of that but um but yeah y'all be looking at you don't even know you drop making people drop off internet so i'm be sitting here for a minute but anyway like the way that the way that everything is you know if you if all your equipment is paid for at a time like now you good you know you don't have to worry about making those payments and stuff right now or trying to sell it just so you can try to get off from up under that note but like you know that's why i always say i don't recommend you 
financing your whole shop. Now, if you if you just need one piece of equipment and it's an expensive piece of equipment, then yeah, you know, I understand. Finance that one piece of equipment, but you do not want to finance your entire shop. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that. I would I would only recommend um like one piece of equipment at a, at a time and um the way that i did with with some of my stuff i saved up to buy it you know like i saved up and um i'm, I'm not exactly sure where this bank is at because this is not my bank but i saved up the money to buy you know to buy like my heat print my screen printing press i saved up the money to buy that you know because that was i don't remember how much it was probably about at least about three four thousand dollars somewhere around there in between three and four thousand dollars um i think captain one is on the right somewhere up here i hope i haven't passed it already but um but like with something that's you know that's like two thousand dollars like i could wait wait until i get my income tax and get something like that or i could um you know or if that's the only piece of equipment that i need i might could finance it but i don't i wouldn't advise just you know um financing the whole thing because in the long run you're gonna end up paying way more for it i don't know where this capital one is at i might have to i might have should have just typed it in on my phone uh let me see It might be up here on Yuri. It may be on Yuri. No, because they said it's on Mansfield Road, though. Uh, let me type it in. Oh, here it is right here. All right. Yeah. But yeah that's that's the way you do it. like right now um kenny say they're having sales like crazy so y'all can be looking for the equipment that y'all want and you know trying to find who got the best price on it and looking for price drops and if it's anybody that's got like a and even if it's a company that you have ordered from before like if they have a um like if you doing your first order and you can save 10 percent, you can use a new email i know most of us have more than one email uh, let me see how can I get up in this bank yeah most of us have more than one email address just use that other email address to get that 10% off save because y'all know your girl is a cheapskate so yeah oh let me see okay I'm gonna get I'm gonna get right here behind the popo the police is right in front of me getting a getting they little check stuff on let me find my um license oh. all right i picked a good line y'all don't judge me i, I can't let y'all see what i got going on right there <laughs> okay my license right here and this check flew on the floor right here. Look like the popo on their walkie talkie. They gonna have to leave and go get an emergency. Oh no, they on the cell phone. They ain't on their walkie talkie. Okay, I should have went to that one because that one was open, but I come and get behind this popo. all right i don't even know i'm gonna try i'm gonna try sending this yellow check in i guess what y'all think should i send the original check in or the yellow check in or what i'm up here this is where i'm at right here y'all over here at the capital one on mansfield road popo in front of your girl the popo in front of me. At least we know we safe with the popo right here. Unless we the ones doing something. Or looking like we doing something.
I guess when I get up here, I'm going to have to ask these folk a question. Because you're supposed to destroy these checks once you uh, get done. But I usually just uh, save them and make sure my checks go through before I destroy them. So what I had started doing is just saving them and destroying them at the end of the year. But I got a whole bunch of them over there at the shop because I haven't destroyed them. But all of them should be good except for this one. But I want to make sure I'm going to go through, make sure I don't have no more papers and go through them all. Or I guess I could just look on my account and see. I might not should have got it from the popo -po because I believe the popo -po is cashing all the money orders from the bank. Y'all know how they, everybody send it. I don't even know if you can do that no more for people that's in jail send money orders because I think you have to do it online now. But y'all know everybody mailing their people their money orders and the popo -po is cashing them all right now because he done rich and put the thing, got the thing and put the thing back and this sent it back. I don't even know what he got going on up here. But it looked like, looked like he might be um, cashing 10 checks or he might have about seven jobs or something. I don't know. <clears throat> he could. I mean, he done sent the thing back. He's still on his break. Still on his break. What what you doing, Mr. Popo Man? Why I get behind you, Mr. Popo Man? Or or everybody, they was like, man, uh, cash our checks when you go over there. They, they gonna have to start cash apping each other. <clears throat> okay, they just sent him the thing back again, y'all. Let me see. Hopefully, they got it right this time. If if they didn't, I'm going to try to see if they'll let me back up or something. Look, since it's quiet and it's a pretty day, I'm going to open this sunroof on. Okay, he done sent that thing back again. Let me see what's about to happen now. Let me see what's about to happen. I should have got over there and I would have been done where the man in the red truck at because that was open. Y'all, this, um, what is it called? This GSG chapstick, it be good. GSG right here. <laughs> that Y'all probably be like, she be always sucking on her lip because that chapstick tastes good. <laughs> Anybody still on here? Or y'all just chilling? Y'all just chilling to see what I'm gonna do next? I've been talking so much on this live stream. 94 minute live we almost been on here 100 minutes. When it get on 100 minutes, I'm probably going to get off, y'all. When it get on 100 minutes, I'm probably going to get off. Because 100 minutes is a lot of minutes. If Is anybody still on here? If it is, type the thumbs up button. I guess everybody off. Let me see. If any, if ain't nobody on here, I'm gonna go ahead and um close it down. Yeah, if y'all still on here, y'all let me know. Cause I kind of think with the thing dropping off and everything, I don't think it's nobody else on here. And if anybody on here, somebody type some, somebody say some. Let me know. Oh. But I appreciate y'all joining me today. Since I don't know if it's anybody on here, I was gonna try to let y'all at least see me 
do, do this check. But y'all, this police for real is like he cashing about 15 or 20 checks, like for real. I don't know how many checks he got. I don't know how many jobs he got. I don't know. Maybe he turning in all the fraudulent checks for the month or something. I don't know. All right, if y'all had enough of me for today, y'all type the thumbs down button. If y'all still on here, y'all want me to keep going? Okay, he, he's getting this thing again. Hopefully he's done this time. Let me see. Oh, all right. They finally moved. They finally moved. Let me see. I'm doing fine. I, that's a check that I had mobile deposited, but I do still have the original. I didn't know if y'all need it. I know you're supposed to destroy them, but I usually destroy them at the end of the year. And I I had got sick. So I do still have the original if you want that one also. Because that was a non-sufficient funds check to my okay. business. So you made a mobile deposit and it got through. It, it was non-sufficient funds. Okay, and that's, so they sent it back to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I usually destroy the checks at the end of the year, but I had got sick at the end of this year. And I do a t-shirt business with everything that's going on. I haven't really started back yet this year. So I haven't, you know, I went and dug it up and I have it right here. What's the date on? Um, September the 21st. And it's the Capital One check? Yes, ma'am. And is it just a check that somebody wrote out to you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It's the original. That thing that I sent you is the thing from the bank that says that that can be used as what the original check would be used for. So that was why I sent that one. Okay. I wish. Oh. They could have told me that over the phone. Yes, ma'am. Um, would you happen to have a phone number for that person? Now, if it's not on the Okay. The, I didn't know that they allowed to have checks like that. Like I didn't even look uh look at you see what's on here. Did you look at it? Uh uh what did it say? If I hold it up you can see it. I, I did look at the yellow copy that was sent. Yeah, it don't it just got D whatever and then it's got a driver's license number and it's got their e Gmail address. But it, was that a business? Um I'm a business I have a business that they wrote the check to. I'm a, I have a t-shirt and a video editing shop. Okay. And I'm sorry. Go no, ahead. Go ahead. 
Yeah, and the reason that it took me so long is because I didn't even realize that the check didn't go through because it was from the fire department. The, you know, the fire department had all the shirts and some of them was paid in cash and some of them was paid with this check. And then I had, I was sick in October and I, I was in the hospital in October and in uh, November. And then like, you know, with the t-shirt shop, it's kind of, you know, shuts down right. when it's cold. And then with everything that's going on, I hadn't really started. And I just was going through some papers and saw that. And that's why it's, you know. Uh, and I would try to see if, I mean, I don't know if that's a company that matters, but I would try to see if you can reach out to them, maybe, you know, Google it and see if you can come up with something. But I can't look up the phone number and see if it also comes to the deal. Okay. You, you can call them and tell them to call me. <laughs> well, actually, I want to get Okay, thank you. I'm go ahead. Y'all see, I done drove all the way up here for nothing. Well, I'm about to drive all the way up here to buy some new tires. I'm riding on the side of the thing. So, I will not deal with the fire department anymore. They will have to find somebody else to do their shirts. I'm done. I'm done with them. I don't even want them coming up in my shop. I'm going to tell them I'm done. Yeah, I won't see me doing no more fire department shirts over $42. Because I'm pretty sure they, I'm pretty sure they uh know what happened. School texted me early and talking about delete. I should delete that video because it's got their account number on there. That is not my account number. Just like how they didn't care that they didn't, they didn't have the money in there to pay me. I'm not doing nothing with their account number. But yeah, I don't think there's nobody on here anyway. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here. And I guess I'm about to head on back home. Yeah, I'm about to head on back home. Let me see. Print squad out. Actually, I'm going to go on the next spot.